Welcome to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're going to be reviewing air fresheners. Okay guys, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're doing a video on what I think are some of the best air fresheners you can use for detailing. So air fresheners and fragrances I think are really important in the detailing world because it's a chance for you, especially if you're a professional detailer, going in and working on someone's car and delivering them a package of kind of, you know, um, services, you know. Um, it's an opportunity for you to kind of impress your customer a little bit more. I mean, the customer's gonna have high expectations when you're doing detailing and they're paying someone an extra money from a normal valet guy, you know, to come in and really do all this work. And, and it's easy to fall short of that, that expectation. It's easy to miss a bit of dust and dirt lurking around and the customer sees it and um, up, upsets them. So whenever, you know, when you can work, you can work really hard and the end results will be you'll only just about meet the customer's expectation, which is to do a good job, you know, a great job and get the car as they want it. So the air freshener gives you an opportunity to score some little bonus points, I think, with your customer. And they're really important bonus points as well, because how your car smells, you know, is important. It's, it's nothing worse. We've all been there, haven't we? We've all got a mate who's got a car which honks. You know, he might, he might, they might smoke, you know, or whatever, you know. But there's nothing worse than getting into a car where it really, really honks. Um, so as well as getting the bonus points for the high-end detailing where you're delivering a, a really clean car, you know, flawless paintwork, you've gone into the interior and detailed it, it's really important for you to deliver that good fragrance and good smell for the customer when they get the car back. It's also important when you need to tackle a car that really, really honks and you need to get in there and you need to get some odour masking or odour odor elimination and some smell masking as well, okay? Very important for that. Because you can't detail a car that stinks and give it back to the customer that stinks. And if your own car stinks, you should want to solve that problem because there's nothing worse than a stinking car. <laughs> so yeah, so this whole air freshener side and fragrance side and odour masking and odour elimination is important. That's why we're doing this video. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking at a fair few products here and I come up with a simple way of rating these products. Now, before we just talk about those ratings, one thing that's really important is we are dealing with smell here. So I think with this particular video, doing like a kind of reverse order shootout format down to the, the best fragrance is not gonna be doing anybody any favors. Because if I happen to like, you know, you know, banana or something like that, and I think, oh, this one that smells of banana, it wins because I love banana. Someone else might not like that. So the actual smell of, which is a really important thing, is there's, a, there's an element of personal choice there. And personal preference, sorry, is the right word. So what I want to do is introduce you to a load of these products. And I'm going to rate these products on certain things. And I'm going to rate them on the following. The value for money. Um, that value for money is obviously the, the number one influence influential thing there is the price of the product per volume but also if you find a product you might find a product that's incredibly expensive and gives you hardly any volume but that product is extremely long lasting and potent so then its value for money isn't actually so bad because it's highly concentrated so this value is not just a point to point 
you know, scale of price. So I'm factoring that in. Next thing I'm marking on is the range of fragrances that are available, okay, the, the range. Because for me, I think, um, especially, I think with your own car, with your own car, you're gonna want, and you, you know, you might not like, one company might sell an amazing pine air freshener, but you just hate pine. So having a big range and choice to go in there, I think is an advantage. So I'm marking them on the ranges as well. So the next thing I'm gonna be marking on is quality of the fragrances, okay? And my way of, of kind of marking this is looking at what the fragrance is telling you it's supposed to smell of. So for example, one could be like lemon zest, citrus, okay? And it's actually how close to that smell it is, you know? And if there's any kind of what I call chemical twang in there, okay? There's nothing worse than getting the old schnozzle full of that chemical twang especially when you've got a big old schnozzle like this I, if there's anything any air freshener floating around in the cockpit of my car it's all going up these two tunnels so um it's got to smell good no chemical twangs you know you want it to smell nice basically how, smell how it should smell the next thing as well as the quality of that fragrance and how close to the original thing it is is how long that fragrance lasts in your car, okay? Because some of them can last quite a long time and other ones can die out quite quickly. One other factor when you're using air fresheners and you're using the same one over and over again is you get used to that fragrance, okay? So you, when you get used to a fragrance, it, it becomes less potent and less noticeable for you. That's why when you walk into your own house, you don't smell anything. You walk into someone else's house and the first thing you notice is it will smell a little bit different to you. Well, brains get used to smelling things, okay? It's another reason why having ranges of fragrances are quite good, so you can alternate your fragrances in your car or use a, a rotation so that you actually notice it in there, you know. So yeah, the longevity of the fragrance is something that I'm gonna be looking at. And finally, the last thing I'm marking at marking on is the potency that's what i've called potency it's the ability of the product to be able to mask a smell or a remove the smell so these products they are the chem again the chemistry side of it is something i'm vaguely interested in but they air fresheners have different ways of of you know removing odors um they can contain uh, you know, this is a bit of Google research, where that's why you see me looking down, looking at my bit of paper. But they can contain oxidizing agents and various other types of chemicals to um, to remove or kill these these um, these organic sources, if you like, of the of the smell. Because some of these smells in your car can be caused by kind of bacteria and, and stuff. You know, if you spill milk or whatever. So a lot of them contain technologies to kill off bacteria and remove those odors. So I'm looking at that, but as well as their ability to kill off and remove those odors, their pure ability as well to mask to mask the smell um, within that. You don't just want, you know, you want that odor elimination factor in there because, you know, you don't want to keep masking moldy milk for the next 10 months. So you want it to be able to kill the bacteria as well, but you do want that masking part of it. So. That po I, I call it potency, so it's, it's to cover the things I've just explained there. So that is how I'm marking everything. So next thing I wanna do is go through the products we're gonna be looking at and talk about them. Okay, no particular order, other than the order I happen to write them down on my sheet. We're gonna start with these auto glands ones, okay? So, what's to say about these auto glands ones? So first of all, they are they they come if you go to the auto glands website and again every product that i review and go through on the video in the description there will be a link for where you can go and get it okay so if you go and have a look on the auto glands website the first thing you'll see is they sell these products in 250 ml bottles okay and they're 6.95 so i've given that given that a three out of five for value okay it seems to be roughly where the market is it's like a benchmark in what you're going to pay um one thing, it's a liquid air freshener, okay, as well. So it's not an aerosol or anything like that. This will last you a fair old amount of time. I've been using this cherry one now um, for a couple of weeks. And, you know, each time I've used it, it drops down a little, little tiny bit. So this will last you months if you're using it on your own car. You know, if you're using it professionally, you might want to get bigger quantities. 
Now I know with auto glands, if you contact them and say, look, I, I like this particular air freshener, can I have it in a 500 ml bottle or a liter bottle? I'd be surprised if they don't supply it. But I noticed it only came in 250 um, ml sizes on the site. So that's the first thing, the price. The next thing, okay, the range, okay. Um, this is the biggest range of air fresheners I've ever seen, okay. So it gets top marks for that. I think uh, the owner of Autoglands would kill me if I didn't give him top marks for range. I think he's got 21 different fragrances here, and I'm gonna go through them. Strawberry milkshake, mint, tutti frutti, banana milkshake, raspberry, strawberry, banana, chocolate, toffee apple, rhubarb, mango sorbet, cola, mango, so you've got mango and mango sorbet, <laughs> Pear, grapes, vanilla, apple, cherry, pina colada, so you've got the old Del Boy one in there, um, and sherbet lemon. So how about that for a range? That's a pretty uh, pretty uh, impressive thing, because each product you've got to do the labeling for, you know, you've got to do all the, you've got to add it to your website, you've got to add it to your inventory. I mean, there must be 101 million other things as well that, that makes creating an individual product a lot of work. So for a for a company that's, again, not been around for all that long, it's kind of, it's over a year now, isn't it? But it's kind of new to do that many air fresheners is pretty impressive. So if, again, if you know of any other company out there, detailing company that's uh, selling these products, it does more than 21 fragrance ranges, let me know, because I'd be impressed. So they've got to get five stars there. Um, next thing, the quality of the fragrance is okay. Um, now this is, this is a, well, this is, again, there's gonna be an element of personal choice here. So the first thing is, obviously, you've got a fragrance. You can go through that list and pick a fragrance that you like, okay? Now, out of the three that um, Auto Gland sent me, I just liked the cherry flavor fragrance the most, that the ones he sent. So he sent me Pina Colada and Bubblegum. A lot of them do Bubblegum. I'm not overly a fan of it, but I know some people that are. You know, the Bubblegum's got that kind of sweet, candy, flavor to it. I think I prefer a citrus flavor. This this cherry flavor for me is fantastic. It's got a sort of coolness to it. Um, it's just nice, it's on the money, okay? I talked about I talked about the chemical twang. This doesn't have any chemical twang to it. When you smell them straight out of the bottle, they're very strong. When you spray them in the car, they're a little bit more subtle, okay? But I'm just having a whiff of it to remind me of it. So I'm, I'm currently using this one in the M3 at the moment, and it's and it's a really nice, it's a really nice fragrance. Okay. Um, so the main thing is here, I cannot obviously expect them to send me 21 bottles and for me to go through all the lot and then come up with a, some sort of my opinion on how how good quality they are. The three that have been sent to me, they they all smell pretty spot on. You know. There's no chemical twang. There's no, it doesn't seem to get up your nose. Um, you can put that fragrance in the car and it sits there in the background, which is kind of what you want rather than overpowering you, but you do know it's there, okay? Um, like I say, I'm not a fan of any bubblegum one, so it wouldn't matter how good this was, I wouldn't use it. It's going back to that point of choice. You know, you pick the fragrances which you personally like. Um, I personally like this cherry one. I think from their range as well, I'd like them. I'd be interested to see what the mint one would be like, because I think that would be good. Um, the mango sorbet sounds pretty cool as well. There's, there's something there for everyone. Okay, the next thing, so the, so the quality is right up there. So one thing I'd say is uh, there's, a, there's an emphasis or a big leaning here to, to kind of fruit flavors or sweet flavors. There is an absence of any sort of, the bulk standard flavor like this the bulk standard smell you get with air freshers is always this like pine kind of toilety smell. You know, you'll recognize it. Sometimes you go to the toilet and it's that overwhelming kind of pine smell. There isn't anything like that in the line. Some people might want that, um, but I suppose you've got the mint, which will be which will be close enough. But there isn't, from what I can see, your standard kind of pine fresh, as they call it, you know, that you get with your, your air freshers you have inside. So the, the longevity of these uh, Auto Glands products is good. You can put more of the product in to increase that kind of potency as well with these sprays. You get, 
you get the most amount of control with these liquid formats. They are my favorite format, okay? And we'll talk about some of the other formats. So a real quick summary of the Auto Glands um, air freshener option. They are number one in terms of range, okay? The, the, the amount of different options you've got there. And again, I don't think anyone's even getting close to that. So if you're a guy that likes to have a lot of choice with the scent, or you've got strong preferences of what scent you want, you know, these guys are more than likely to have something close to that. So that's, you know, that's pretty obvious, I know, but it, it's true. Okay, the quality of the fragrance is good. They're versatile that you can use them. You use more of the products if you want to, more of the product if you want to increase the longevity of it, okay? Um, yeah, it's a good range. Okay guys, so next on our list, these are the Auto Smart Blast range, okay? Oh, blast. And as soon as you use this product for the first time, you think that's a good name for it, Blast, because the product comes flying out of these cans like a flashbang, you know. It's, it's like a fire extinguisher. It comes flying out of you. Anyway, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So, Auto Smart Blast. These cans, the price price can vary a lot with these Auto Smart products, okay? Because there's a lot of different people selling them, okay? But generally, you will find people selling two 400 milliliter cans for about 11 to 12 pounds, and some of them are reputable guys. Be careful when you sell, see people on eBay selling these for very little, okay? Because they can, you know, you, you, you can always get people that do dodgy things, you know, and copy things, so just, Whenever you buy things on eBay or from other sellers, buy from reputable sellers. Okay, so generally you will pay about 11 to 12 pounds for two cans. So really the cans are about five or six pounds each, okay, for 400 mil. So, you know, that sounds like not bad value, but it depends, okay, how long it lasts. This is the first thing I'd say about these cans and, and it's a weakness, okay. They do not last very long because they are, they seem to be a lot more gas in there than liquid. They're quite, you know, they don't feel that heavy and, and, and you can empty these cans very quickly. If you go in heavy, heavy fingered with them the first time you use them, you can empty these cans doing one car. Now what people say is when you use these, you should just tap the spray button and just put little bursts of them there because it's strong enough. Well, they're right, you should do that. But my opinion is you shouldn't you shouldn't have to, okay? So there's something slightly wonky with the way that these cans discharge. They discharge way too rapidly. So you have to use them in a stupid way with tiny little taps. And I wish they'd sort that out. I know it sounds like a like a moaning old git rant, but I just wish they'd sell you a can and you could spray it around liberally and it would last for a while. You know, the first time I bought these and I used it once, I thought, God, this is brilliant, this stuff, because it we'll go and talk about why it's cool. But then when I went to use it the next time, I was halfway through using it and it ran out. And that's because I was using, I was going full full throttle mode with it, okay? And you do have to tap it. So I don't like that. So that affects the value for me. I only give it two star for value because you can empty them so quickly. Okay, range. They only offer, I think, three fragrances, which is fresh, which is your kind of standard kind of like toilet pine smell, you know, that fresh thing. It's hard to describe, isn't it, the fresh smell? Like the fresh sea air. Well, it's not like sea air, because it's all salty. It's like, it's like a toilet fresh, that's what I call it. Berry Blast, okay, which is a fruity twang, okay? And bubble gum, okay? So it's those three, and that's the blast range. So the range is small, so only, it covers everything, doesn't it? You've got your bubble gum, you've got your fruit, and you've got your pine fresh. So it's quite good that it covers fruit, but then that's not much effort when you consider all uh, who's it? Auto Glands have got 21 fragrances, so you can't give them too many marks if they've only done three. Quality of the fragrances. Okay, it's generally I'd, I'd say it's acceptable. I find the bubble gum and the berry blast personally a little bit overpowering, and that chemical twang that I talked about, they're a little bit high on that chemical twang, especially immediately after you use them. So that could be a danger that you might. If you used them professionally, you know, as a professional detail on someone's car, they might get in there after you've done a detail, and they? they might, oh, Jesus, you know, this is a bit, bit strong. It settles down quite quickly the, the following few days after that, but perhaps a little bit over potent initially, 
and a, with a little bit of a chemical twang, but not unpleasant, okay? So three stars there. Okay, so that's all the negatives over and done with, okay? Because I really like these AutoSmart products, and it may have just come across from what I've said that I don't, but I do, I really like them. And these, it's because of these two, two next categories that I think they excel at. One, the longevity. I've, again, I've heard people say these things don't last very long, the fragrance doesn't last. For me, these last longer than anything I've, I've seen, apart from the, the offerings that you can stick something in there, like a card or a little tub of gel, which I'm not reviewing here. I don't think I've seen anything that outlasts, outlasts these AutoSmart products. They last forever. I can still, I did, a, I did an interior, I did a full detail polish on a, on a black BMW in a video months ago and I sprayed the inside of it with that with this stuff. I can still smell it in there because I don't use it in my other cars. So I'm not familiar with the fragrance. And I open it up and the first thing I can smell is that blast, that fresh blast. So the longevity is incredible. The potency as well and the odor elimination and especially the odor masking of these. So that I said that uh, as a quality of fragrance, they can be a bit, get up your nose a little bit, but their masking is, is as good as anything. So if you had a honking car, you know, and you want it to just solve that problem quickly, they're, they're as good as anything for masking it. So very strong in longevity and very strong in potency. Um, I wish they would improve that problem with them emptying out so quickly because they would be formidable if they could sort that out. So hopefully this is just giving you an idea, you know, giving you an idea of, of what these are about. Um, impressive in some ways, and then could just do with tweaking in others. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about with the wax pack range is, so the first thing is the price. These wax pack products are 9.99 for 150 milliliter aluminium, very nice aluminium bottle as well. You don't see that too often. Most of them are the kind of plastic pet bowls. So that's gonna cost a little bit more. Um, the price, you know, that's at the upper end of the test. So it's lower value for money compared to some of the other products here, which are, which are cheaper. However, there's always, a, there's always a good however with the wax pack. They are doing a deal, just like they did with their lovely kind of um, buffing cloths that they did a fantastic deal on, you know, a multi-buy. They do a multi-buy on these, where if you buy four of the fragrances, it's 20 pounds. So that's a half price deal. Um, and there's another reason why that deal is really important. It's because the key thing with their range is that the fragrances are, What's the right word? The fragrances are kind of adventurous. They're the most, you know, almost like the craziest, if you like. It's doing them a bit disservice using the word crazy, but you'll see what I mean, okay? So here's, here's the range. Battenberg, Black Cherry, Cola Bottle, Cookie Dough, Cotton Fresh, Gingerbread Scent, Ice Noir, New Harlem, and Praline. Okay, so those fragrances are a little bit more complex, okay? They are a little bit more crazy, a little bit more adventurous, and they're probably a little bit more expensive. That's probably one of the reasons that, that per single bottle, the price is a bit higher. I should imagine these, these, these are quite expensive fragrances. So the whole point of this video is to kind of introduce you to these products that are out there. Now, what did I find with the range? I found the range had some gems in it that I really liked, and then had some fragrances in there that I, I wasn't too keen on, if I'm honest. So what have we got here? That's one I like, that's one I like. So I think I put the two I didn't like here. So cookie dough, um, I mean it does smell scarily like cookie dough. It's even got that, you know when you work that dough in your hands and it's got that kind of funky, yeasty, plasticky smell. It's even got that, you know, you even get a little bit of that plasticky kind of doughy smell. It's got that, you can smell the butter in there as well and the sweetness of the sugar. It's a very clever, it's a very clever scent. But I'm just not sure if I want that in my car. That might drive me a little bit bonkers. You know, um, maybe this time of year we just had the Great British Bake Off. You know, you could sell loads of these. and uh, but, but for me, I'm not sure on that scent. Um, and this fragrance here is called New Harlem Scent, okay? And this was the owner of Wax Pack. This was his favorite, I think, or he really liked this one. If you ever remember the old aftershave, it was called, I think it was called Musk. 
Was it called Musk? I think it was called Musk. Everyone used to love that. I, had, I used to splash that on when I was a young man. Um, don't bother with aftershaves anymore. I just prefer to stink. Uh, in fact, I might use these. I'm such a tight ass. Um, but anyway, there used to be an aftershave called Musk. This really reminds me of that. It's got a freshness to it, but that muskness comes through. And again, I just think that might, for me, it might just, I might find that annoying in my car. However, these other three I really like, this black cherry. I mean, it's got the word black cherry in it, and you can see why, it's kind of even sweeter and richer than the normal cherry smell. It's really strong, okay? Always better when you put them in your car to smell them like, rather than just getting a lung full of them this way because they're very potent. But these, these are strong scents. Um, the Battenberg, okay, it's, it's got that sweetness to it like the cookie dough, but it's just less overpowering than the cookie dough. So if you like those sweet, cakey fragrances, you'll probably like this Battenberg. You know, that, that I don't think is going to cause anyone any problems. I think that will be generally well received that one but this one I thought was a little gem in the range and it was cotton fresh and I thought what the hell's cotton fresh you know I didn't know what this was going to smell like and it's like when you do your laundry okay and you've got all your fresh bed sheets and you've used loads of fabric conditioner on, on, on them with all those perfumes in them you get them out you get them out the washing machine you always give them a give them a quick honk this smells exactly the same as that, and it's a really nice, fresh smell. But it's an alternative, I think. Very, one of very few alternatives to the universally used toilet pine that they stick in all those air fresheners. So it's quite clever, this one, and I thought this was a brilliant, brilliant idea. Um, so I like this one, yeah. I think that's a little bit of genius, Cotton Fresh, and it's, it's so clever, the fragrance. It's spot on to what your laundry smells like just as it's come out, that kind of washing machine with all those perfume fragrances in it. Very clever. So, beyond my opinion of these fragrances, which is less important, the most important thing I want to do is get across to you, you know, the, the range, the Battenberg, the Black Cherry, the Cola Bottle, the Cookie Dough, the Cotton Fresh, the Gingerbread Scent, the Ice Noir, the New Harlem, and the Praline, okay? So they will all be potent fragrances that will work and scent your car. So this line from the wax pack really for me is for anyone that wants something a little bit different, you know, and you'll, you'll get from what I've just said and what, how I've described them, you'll get what I mean with a little bit different. If you want, you know, if you want the normal stuff, so if you want something, so the main thing I think that I want to get across with the Wax Packs range is that it is a little bit different. It is the most out there of all the ranges. It's the most adventurous, okay? And that's not going to be for everyone, okay? And, and it's another reason why I think if you are going to buy the Wax Pack one, take him up on that deal and buy four of them because they are very bold fragrances. And if you just buy one, you might not like it. But if you get a chance to try a few of them, I got a feeling that there'll be at least two or three which you really like, okay? And, and I do recommend, I recommend the Cotton Fresh. Um, I recommend the Black Cherry, the Battenberg. I probably wouldn't go for it, but it's still a really nice fragrance. Um, some people will like the New Harlem. You know, the best way I can describe that is if you like a kind of aftershavey, musky smell in your car, more of a man thing, definitely. You know, if there's any female viewers out there, you might not like this so much. You might do, you never know. Um, but this is more for the blokes, that new Harlem. Okay, so I'm going to display up all the scores for the Wax Pack, and hopefully you've, you've got the main thing about what Wax Pack are offering, which is a really kind of um, clever... Um, range of fragrances which is different to anything else I'm going to be talking about. Okay first up the o Dakota Odor Bombs okay so in terms of value um, these are nine pounds and you get 150 milliliters in there okay so that the Auto Smart um, air freshener ones were about five or five or six quid each okay whereas these are nine quid but you, these last longer for me. There's more liquid in there 
against gas where the auto smart ones are loaded with loads of gas and they discharge too quickly but still at nine quid they only really represent I would say roughly the same sort of value as the auto smart ones which is slightly below average so they're not cheap okay um, one cool thing about these is they're not just designed for cars okay so if you've got a stinking room in your house that's you know the carpets are all full of odor or whatever and you you, you know what you can do is you you can put these cans in the room and you can turn them on and you can leave you can like hook the the thing in so that it's permanently throwing out um you know all the product so yeah these are a bit like the old um smoke canister in um in counter-strike you can you can turn them on and leave them and then wob them into a room and then let them do their thing so you know they say that you can um you know put them in the room and leave them for two hours okay and then ventilate the room for 30 minutes before re-entering so there's pretty some potent stuff going on in here so i'm not sure if you'd wob one in the car like the old smoke grenade <laughs> and then like do the windows up make sure none of your mates are still in there or anything and um um and leave it but I don't think you'd necessarily need to use it like that I still think you could probably have your air con on if you wanted to circulate it through the through the uh, air filter and kind of decontaminate that part of it you know kill the bacteria or whatever in those uh, but I, I think you could just use this like a normal air fresher as well and spray it around that car and use it quickly if need be um, what's to say about the, the other things in there okay the range um, They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different products in that range. Uh, you've got melon, lemon and lime, berry, ocean, new car, uh, odor something. I can't read what I wrote there. Odor mint. Odor mint. God knows what it is. Um, orange and oh, odor neutralizer. That will be. Yeah. You know you're in trouble if you can't read your own writing. Don't you? <laughs> orange and vanilla so the range is pretty decent the quality of the fragrance I think it does have a lot of chemical twang in the background and it's not you know when you if someone smelled this you wouldn't think you're smelling lemon and lime which is this particular one you'd think you were smelling air freshener you know whereas some of those you they can almost trick you into thinking it's the real thing so the quality is only three three star there out of five so it's not bad um again now we get to the real strengths of this i think the longevity of it's good if you put it in your car you know and you use it you'll still know about it a bit more it seems more potent than some of those liquid ones okay, okay in terms of longevity but the real strength i think with it is the ability for this to mask odors okay i think that's it's been formulated to really you know kill off any odors and it seems to do that really well um so I gave it five, five star in its potency and it's kind of masking. So yeah, both of this spray ones seem to have that, that, that in common, if you like. Okay guys, so next up is Dodo Juice, okay? So Dodo Juice have, again, uh, they're using the liquid kind of, um, the liquid spray ones, which I kind of favor, you know, I kind of favor unless I really have a stinking car where I need heavy kind of potent masking. Um, so the first thing is their range is impressive, okay? You've got watermelon, candy, blueberry, jelly bean, vanilla, coconut, pineapple, berries, pina colada. Did I say pineapple again? Um, pineapple if I didn't say it twice <laughs> um, so it's a, it's a pretty impressive range again not as big as auto glands but still big enough you know it's a lot uh, the price is the next thing 395 okay for 100 millilitres the only problem is I couldn't see them selling it in any bigger sizes so it's a little bit you know I'd, I'd want to buy bigger than this you know if I found a really nice fragrance in their range and they've got some uh, these three I've got here and we'll talk about them in a minute they're nice I'd want to potentially go and buy a bigger bottle, you know, ones that I can really spray out and get a bit more in. It's hard to get a lot of the products coming out of these tiny little pump sprays, so, so it's, a, it's a minor little niggle. But I think as well, the professional, any professional detailer, if he finds his product that's nice and he, he you know, they commit to it and you buy it, you'll want to be able to kind of get a bigger quantity than 100 mil, potentially, at least in my mind. Um, so yeah, um, the value for money, it's, 
they've got to make some money on it. It's 399 for 100 mil. So if you scale that up to about 250 mil, it's about a tenner. So um, it's not it's not ridiculous price, but it's not cheap. It's probably slightly below average. Um, again, I'd like to see them do it in a larger quanti quantity, like a 500 mil or at least a 250 mil, and then perhaps you could have a slightly better value for money. Might you know you could get pick up more points then. The range is fantastic, four and a half stars. Doesn't get five because it's not as, it's half the size of Auto Glenn, so they've gone that extra mile, so they deserve five star. But it's pretty big, isn't it? One other thing I'd say is that, like the Auto Glands range, is potentially a leaning a little bit too too much towards the citrus and the fruity stuff and the the sweet shop stuff. And it would just be nice, perhaps, to have like a pine fresh option in there. I know it's boring, but it's what a lot of people will look to. Just a standard air freshener that tells you, emphasizes its odor elimination kind of properties and smells like pine fresh. So um, that's fine. In terms of longevity and kind of potency, they're very similar to the, um, to the other spray bottle op options, okay? Very similar. That's not the forte of these spray ones. Um, forte is the choice you get and the, the quality of the fragrance for me. Um, but they still perform well at, at kind of masking odors, but just not the real honking, stinking car where you really need something a bit more potent. So all in all, I really like the quality of the fragrances, like the products. They could give you a little bit bigger quantities of the product for perhaps a little bit less. Um, and that's about it really. So Car Pro So Pure Air Freshener. It's called Photocatalytic Air Purifier Coating, which sounds sounds great. The word coating, that, that could be cool. Um, so this one's a little bit different. I wanted it on a test. I'm a fan of Car Pro stuff. I like their approach. Their products usually always deliver. So, but the first thing I'm marking them on is value, okay? And I can't, I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a fair review if I said at £10 for 120 millilitres, it's, it's expensive, okay? It's expensive. No two ways about it. But again, if the product delivers, I don't mind paying a little bit more money for it, okay? So the first thing I noticed with this when I kind of read up about it a little bit and kind of, I've had this for a fair old while, but when I bought it, I always tend to read them and see if they're, what they're, what they're going on about. This seemed to kind of, um, this seemed to go into the technical side of what it was doing, you know, and the, explaining the kind of chemistry a little bit more. And there was, there seemed to be a lean on this, on its ability to kind of, um, again, that odor elimination side, the, the, the killing of kind of the source, if you like, of what's smelling. Okay. It's, that will be important to some people again, over, over the quality of the fragrance, some people will want the products to eliminate kind of odors and kill them at source. So according to the kind of um, the product information on the, on the CarPro website, this product is effective at that kind of um, elimin eliminating those kind of odor pollutants as they kind of describe it. Um, now the smell, the smell is meat, okay? It's a lovely smell. Out of It smells so pure, there is not one ounce of chemical smell to it. It reminds me of when you used to have mint, that Kendall mint cake when you're a youngster, you know, you take a bite of it and it would just overwhelm you with all that mint where well, you're getting that kind of sensation but going in through the old hooter. <laughs> so it's got a lovely fragrance, okay? So that's good. Um, there is no range, okay? CarPro aren't doing a range of these in different smells. So unfortunately, they got one offering. So I can't give it loads of marks for offering you all these choices of fragrance. But I don't think, that, I mean, it's deliberate. They haven't. You know, they, they don't want to give you a strawberry kind of daiquiri offering or whatever. They're just giving you this. So the quality of the fragrance, that, that mint kind of flavour is fantastic. It's really cool. Um, there's no chemical twang to it. It's an, excellent, it's an excellent fragrance. The cool thing I want to get across it with this product is, and why it's offering you a, something a little bit different, is you use it, you know, I get into a tendency of just, with these liquid ones, just blasting them into the footwell, you know, just blasting them into the footwell, and then you've got that fragrance there. This, you kind of, you're not getting loads, but you don't use it like that, okay? So you don't go blasting this into your fabrics to kind of generate a smell there, you know. You use it more like a coating, so you might have your dashboard there, and you just 
spray it over your dash and then kind of level it off and then just let it dry. Um, so yeah, I mean, clean surface well, shake well, spray on and wipe off with a microfiber and let it dry under the sunshine. So it's something that you, know, you use slightly differently. The fragrance, and this could just be the fact they've chosen mint, isn't as potent as like some other offerings, but some people, as with you know, fragrance, I've, I've said this point throughout this video hundreds of times that fragrance is a very personal thing. Um, some people will not like sweet smells, and some people will not like citrusy smells. Some people will like subtle smells, and some people will want products that are just there doing their thing, providing that kind of odor emulation without interfering too much with what's going on. In other words, in other words, you don't want to get into your car and kind of smell anything too out of the ordinary, okay? And whether or not that, that fits in your criteria, only you'll know, okay? But I'm just kind of trying to give you the angle I think that this product is coming from. So it's it's more of a high-end product and it's more about controlling kind of all of those pollutants that will be in your cockpit. Um, and I think it does this very well, okay? So it's quite an impressive product and it's a little bit different um, from, from, from some of the other offerings. The approach is different. Okay, so Valet Pro um, Odor Eater, and I don't know why I'm shaking it the bottle like some cheesy jazz-handed salesman, but um, it's uh, it's a good product. This. Let's talk about the basics, okay? 595 for 500 milliliters, okay? Got to give it a lot of credit for that. That's I think it's the cheapest one in in the in the range, and that will appeal to people that get through a lot of product, you know, and want something that's effective. Um, and, and you know they don't want to pay a huge amount and they, they, there'll be a lot of people in that category there'll be other people in the category that want the choice there'll be other ones that want a specific fragrance there'll be other ones that want the masking so it's really good you know that we've got different types of offering in this test and this product first positive is it's great value for money okay um, again as far as I can see there's nothing else in the range so it's Valet Pro's offering in the air freshener or odor elimination kind of um, field. Um, one of the negatives is I didn't think, you know, I talked about the quality of that fragrance that's coming through. You know, some of them are great and they're really designed to smell like certain things. This one, okay, it is your classic kind of toilet, toilet fresh smell. It really is just that kind of pine air freshener thing. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing too, um, there's nothing unpleasant about it. But you know what I mean when I say kind of toilet fresh smell. That's what this is. So just so you're under kind of no illusions of thinking it's going to smell a kind of champagne and mushrooms or whatever. It's not. It's toilet fresh. Um, now, the biggest thing I'd say about this is you would use this. You would use this to kill... You know, you'd spray this over things. Say if you say, say it's the old classic spilt bottle of milk scenario. If you had that had happened, it had been allowed to kind of dry, and you had this kind of odor problem in the car, and you knew the source was there. You know, or you, I used this when the little one was puked everywhere in my car. You know, and I'm cleaning up afterwards, and I don't want that puke to dry, and you can still smell it the next day. You know, so this is great for that sort of stuff where you've got a kind of a source of bacteria that you can get to you blast it all on there and it will kill it and it does work so i the, the most important thing for me here is to get that point across i use this more not as an air freshener because the it smells of toilet pine but more as a as something that's a cheap odor eliminator that you can have in your arsenal if ever you need it so um i like the product and i think it's a handy thing to have Okay guys, last but no means least, chemical guys, okay? Whenever you mention chemical guys, there'd be somebody out there getting angry, wanting to stick the old uppercut in or the low blow because they hate him. For some reason, over in America, everyone gives them all, all sorts of grief. I think they do some great product. I think their soaps are great. I think they do a real large range of good quality waxes. You know, I love Pete's 53. There's some turkeys in their ranges, by the way, you know, and I've talked about some of those turkeys, but I also like them, okay? Now, 
one thing chemical guys always do is they offer a lot of products, okay? And it's not easy to do that. It takes effort. And I think if you put that effort in and you offer loads in each particular sector of detailing products, I think you should get rewarded. So what I'm seeing is a lot of the bigger companies, the detailing companies, just tend to offer you a smaller range of air fresheners. But chemical guys are a big, big, you know, detailing company, sell a lot of product. But they offer you tons, okay? So good... You know, good luck to them. One thing with what they offer as well is they've got the balance right, you know, of not perhaps giving you just all those fruit scents. So let's just talk about their scents, first of all. First one, stripper scents, and we'll talk about that a bit later on. New car smell, apple, purple stuff, choy air, which I think is bubble gum, leather scent, honeydew, cherry, black frost, strawberry, strawberry margarita, okay? So it's quite a, um, it's quite a, diverse range of scents okay and there's some there that are good scents with an emphasis on kind of you know removing odors like the new car um offering you know rather than just all being citrusy based you know price range okay their price range value for money is fantastic um you know probably for these 500 mil offerings so they give you the right sizes you, I, I i just feel this is the right size for one of these liquid the 500 mil one lasts a long time and they sell these for about eight to eleven pounds depending on which product you pick so their value for money is really really good okay and the range is really really good the quality of the fragrances is, is really really good again there are some that you might like or dislike depending on your personal preference like I've got black frost here, and I don't particularly like it. I took a punt on it. It's it doesn't smell very strong actually. It just smells like a watered down version of Lynx. So not too impressed with this black frost, but it's a real bloke thing, you know. You can imagine the old going. To, it's the blokes that can imagine themselves going to a nightclub. It's got some really um, over the top kind of marketing and branding stuff on it, you know, trying to get you to buy it. But it's not my thing personally. Another offering in their range is this one called Stripper Sense, okay? And I've talked about this before, that I just think this is a, an example of a genius piece of marketing where they, they have got it right. Because this time they're talking about this Stripper Sense, it's basically supposed to be the smell of a, of a lap dancer, like the perfume that a lap dancer wears. It's just got that kind of cheap but nice perfume smell that you, you know, if you sm smelled it on a woman, it would get your attention. So the kind of, the idea is if you fill your car with it up and you're a kind of red-blooded male, every time you get in your car, this will kind of remind you of some of your kind of past excursions out to sort of dodgy nightclubs where you've had some lap dancer going full throttle on you for, for what, 20 quid for about two minutes. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, it's just a funny product. Now, I loved this when I first bought it because I just thought it was genius, you know, it's just brilliant. I had it in my cars and I had a big big smile on my face every time I got in my cars because it just, you know, you go into daydream mode. When you get over the novelty value of that, what you have here is a fragrance which smells like a cheap, vanilla -y sweet perfume. And no matter how good the branding is, that is what it is. So... Maybe, maybe I'm just getting a bit old, okay, now. But I loved this when I first bought it. Um, so, yeah, maybe. I, this is what it is. It's a bit of fun. And I think a lot of people will just try it because it's got a picture of a stripper on the front. It's kind of cool. It will make you smile. And for that reason, I kind of do recommend it. But some people, you know, will just think it's a bit gimmicky. Because it is. Now this is one that I really like and I've been using for a while. Strawberry Margarita. It's just a lovely fresh fragrance that's almost like you can imagine yourself sitting there on a beach somewhere in the heat, you know it's winter here, drinking a strawberry margarita and that smell that you just get before it hits your lips. That's like it. You put it in your car and you smell it and it's pleasant, okay? Um, so that's all good. The Chemical Guys range of, of these liquid products is fantastic. Not everyone likes all of them. I've tried the new car one and, and it wasn't potent enough and a friend of mine's got it as well and said it, he had some problems with the potency of it. And some of those other fragrances like Leather Scent might not be for you. So just be careful what you buy. But 
You'll know if you want if that stripper scent one appeals to you. But I would suggest if you like fruity fragrances, the strawberry margarita is a really good one to try out. Okay. Okay, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. The main thing I want to get across from this video is the differences between those products that we've um, that we've talked about. And, and the main difference is being that some of them will focus in on odor elimination, some of them will focus in on masking, some will focus in on giving you a massive range of different fragrances, some of them will focus at giving you really kind of unusual kind of fragrances, adventurous fragrances. Some of them will focus in on the technology side of it, like the Car Pro, um, the Car Pro So Pure, was it? But it's almost like a coating providing that kind of. Um, pollutant removal if you like so there's all these different options and um, you'll know which ones you like best and really this video was my attempt at me explaining what I like best about all these individual products so that you get a view on which one will work best for you does that make sense <laughs> okay thank you very much for tuning in We've got lots more to come, as always, on the Forensics Detailing channel. It's just a matter of time, We're squeezing in a little bit of time in the evenings to shoot these videos. If you've got any comments or suggestions or feedback, please let me know. I do read it all and reply to it as quickly as I can. Um, if you've got any comments or improvements, suggestions for what we're gonna do next, that'd be fantastic. What was the other thing I was gonna say? Oh yeah, and if you haven't already subscribed, the old cheesy YouTube thing you hear on every video, please subscribe, but it's important to keep growing the kind of subscription base, which seems to be going pretty well. So thank you to everyone that's watched and subscribed so far, and we'll see you very soon. Okay guys, so in no particular order, other than the order that I wrote them down on my sheet, that's not me farting by the way, that's this thing making a funny noise, let's start again.